So continuing our discussion on free graphics tool today, we're going to be comparing Snappa versus Vizme. So I just found out about these two. Vizme is fairly new, it's still in beta, and Snap I just found out by doing a little bit of research as well. And we're gonna take a look at these and see how they do in creating the three types of graphics we've been creating, which are the Instagram post, the YouTube thumb, and an infographic. So let's go ahead and get started with Vizme. Um, starting out, Vizme has a free tier, it's limited. Uh, and then after that, it is anywhere from 10 to $60 a month if you pay for it annually. Um, most likely the best value is gonna be the complete plan, which uh, actually allows you to download these as HTML5, which means you theoretically could embed these into your website after you're done creating them. So let's go ahead and come back to the homepage and let's try this out. Okay, so one of the things that annoyed me, first of all, is you actually have to sign up before you can even start trying it. Uh, I understand why they do, it's just kind of a, a pain in the butt for me. So um, right now you can see this is really designed around more infographics, but let's see what we can do for banners here. And let's look at social media and Okay, so there's no Instagram style posts here. What we'll have to do is just a standard blank one. So let's create that. Okay, kind of interesting, not the easiest to work with. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can go back to the dashboard and let's see if we can make a Banner, social, YouTube, video. So it looks like they have some, you know, some of these are in the premium, which is fine, but let's go ahead and use this. Okay, so they're making it, they're making it a little bit difficult to do the work, but which is fine. Okay, that that works fine. That works fine. Um, these are more designed, looks like around do a presentation. So you do a, a second one, you do a third one and make it better so that's that's kind of interesting uh probably not as useful to some of us more if you're doing this might be really useful if you're doing a lot of webinars and you want to create some cool presentations so um let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard again and we'll do one more of this Okay, so this is this is pretty cool actually. So pretty easy to update. So So 
So as you can see to create these, kind of pretty cool actually. You can create additional slides if you want, um, if you want to do more, but this is an interesting product. So let's do a preview here. And so this is what it would look like, or I could actually uh, close this as well. So that is Visme. Uh, I think this is good for very specific circumstances. I don't think it replaced Canva or others. Uh, I think it's more if you want to do some kind of really cool presentations. So let's take a quick look at Snappa instead. Okay, again, kind of pain in the butt. I have to actually sign up before um, I can actually start creating these. So let's say, all right, so let's go and do an Instagram post. Okay, so interesting, a little bit, a little bit different look and feel than the other platforms. Um, I like that you can put curves on these that you can on other ones. I like the fact that you can put in uh, drop shadows on these as well, just kind of make things stick out from the crowd. Um, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Um, they even have different patterns you can put in here. So I could do like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can see these probably have a one offset. We did more, they'll get darker. You can see that's really 1980s design, but you can see that. So that one's different. So let's go ahead and let's look at doing a YouTube. So that is my YouTube thumbnail. Uh, again, a little bit different. Um, I like the fact you put drop shadows in here while well, just kind of make the text stick out. Let's try one more. Okay, so no infographic uh, in here. Theoretically, you maybe do an ebook cover. So interesting, interesting way of doing it. So looking at these two between Snappa and, uh, and Visme, they both serve, I think, unique purposes. Uh, Snappa seems like it would be a competitor to get Stencil. There are things I like a little bit about it more than Stencil. I think I would probably use Stencil more. Um, and Visme, I think Visme is more of like a PowerPoint keynote uh, type of program designed to create kind of interesting graphics. So I think they kind of sit on their own. They're, they're quite unique. Go ahead and play around with them. Um, but again, I think I'll probably still be using Canva. I still be using Stencil. I might play around with Snap a little bit more. And um, I think if I was going to do some more webinars, Visme might be an interesting thing to create some interesting graphics or interesting presentations for a webinar. So go ahead, check them out for yourself. See which ones work for you. Let me know in the comments below which ones you like. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.